What's up everybody? Finally down the shop again. Haven't made one of these shop day videos in a while. I figured, hey, why not? Well, the truck definitely needs a bunch of maintenance. There might be some big changes going on this winter with the truck, but we'll have to wait and see to find out about that. For now, I got some stupid things that, you know, is like everyone's favorite. You gotta mess around with gear oil. And no, it's not my axle. It's actually my drop box. You know, leaky leaky, me not likey likey, but I'll show you how I replace those SCS Dropbox seals. Show you how messy and nasty that is. And then, you know, button up a bunch of other stupid stuff. I don't even really know yet, but let's get into it. All right, so I got my drive shaft containments out, the drive shaft out, all that good stuff. My actual real drive shaft slip yoke is pretty seized up. Got this thing soaking in some PB blast. I've heated it up and beaten on it a little bit, but we got some tricks for that later. I'm pretty much ready to pull my drop box out so I can get these seals replaced on it. But I gotta do a little finessing, if you will, because when I put my drive shaft containment in, I wasn't really thinking too far ahead. And my mounts that I have here for my containment are in my way a little bit. As you can see, it's pretty tight. So as you can see up here also, we got some marked out little area there. Notch out that cross member, because I mean, Weight reduction, bro. So, let's go. And it's out. Real quick, I just wanna show you. Stupid little thing like throwing a fiberglass blanket over your stuff is gonna save you a lot of headache. Cause just look at all this slag that would have been stuck to my drop box, possibly the shaft that goes through the drop box and causing you all kinds of headaches that you don't need because you're already on a quest and we don't need another quest. All right, let's see if I can wrestle this thing out of the cradle. Be a man, do shit by yourself. Never ask for help. all cleaned up looking good now i'm gonna tear her apart and make her gross again so i've never done these seals before but i can tell right now i gotta take this cover off so i can get this plate here and pull all these little allen screws out so when you take your cover off you gotta use these little bolts that help push the cover off you don't want to pry on this thing at all i mean it's aluminum so i'm guessing it's soft and you don't want to mar up the gasket surface but you get the idea Put all these jack shafts in, get these unbolted, and I'll speed this up and go whoop, 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 whoop. And this, my friends, is the inside of an SCS drop box. What lovely piece of machinery we have here. Right now it looks a little messed up because my the back cover holds the gears in and it runs in that bearing, or well, both of those bearings, I should say. So I gotta get a piece of wood under here to get this thing up. 
So it's not pushing the gear out like that. See, there we go. Now, now we're, now we're looking kind of normal, right? Ooh, look at that. Now I got a three and a half to one in here right now. We ran out of gear back when we were at North versus South. So I need a little more top end in the truck. So I have a three to one and it's wicked easy. Like I should probably just show you guys right now. It's super simple. You pop that cover off, pull the gear out, pull the gear out, right? Jiggle it. So easy, you just jiggle it. <laughs> Make me a liar, why don't you? See, just like that. See, easy peasy. It's slippery. Boom, quick change gears on the spot. Probably take you about 10, 15 minutes at the most. Unless some shit seized up and all covered in mud like usual, but here we are. Hmm, gear oil. So there you have it, folks. So you get the piece out. Obviously, I'm gonna have to clean all that crap out of there. Figure out what kind of uh, silicone or <clears throat> RTV I should be using on aluminum. This, I think, is yeah. This is steel. So make sure you use something good. Yeah, this is the seal that's been leaking on both sides, the front and the back. I mean, it don't look so hot. Doesn't look terrible either, but all that mud just grinding away in there. All right, so seal's out. Well, the puck is out that holds the seal. As you can see, I mean, it's probably got two seasons on it, but you can see all the mud and crap that gets caked in there and it just grinds this out. So I think the seals are only like 10, 15 bucks pop, but Shouldn't be too bad to replace, hopefully. Well, there's nothing to push it out on the other side, so. Uh, this is gonna be fun. Looks like I'm gonna put it in the vise and have my way with her. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna pull it out, measure it, and order them. Yeah, that's what I'll do. All right, so I'm gonna measure these and cross-reference after I scoured the internet. I actually found the part number is on Megatruck Nation Tech Talk. So here we are. It's a RWO17448. The Timken number is 472185. Now I can order the Timken ones, probably have to take a week. So I'm gonna check on O'Reilly's because they have National Bang and it has that same number, but I'll check in the specs and make sure it's the right seal size, inside, outside diameter, thickness, all that good stuff. And I'll let you guys know if that national bearing seal works with it too. Cause I had to do a little homework to get these seals. It's not like it's in the pamphlet with my $3,000 drop box. You would think it might be in there, but it's not. Anywho, moving on. All right, so that's that. I got that puck out of the drop box. I got my seal all measured up. It is national bang. 472185. It's also the same number in a Timken. Timken seems to be a lot harder to find around me, so I'm gonna go with the national bearing one and hope for the best. Everything specs out to the same size. I checked everything with a caliper gauge, so I'm gonna go hunt me down some seals. And on the next episode, I'll show you me putting it back together or taking it apart some more. I don't know. We'll see. Tomorrow we're heading up to the Northeast Motorsports Expo in Augusta, Maine. So that'll be the next episode you guys see. So we'll circle back 
for the seals in the Dropbox. Later guys, thanks for watching.